Hello, this is the counter algorithm on the Disting Mark IV. Uh, this algorithm is designed to solve one very specific problem, which is a sequencer which doesn't have a reset input. For example, this one. Um, I've got this clocked from DFH2. Uh, I'm not going through the Disting Mark IV at the moment, just to demonstrate the problem we're trying to solve. If I press play, that's nice. It synchronizes with the clock, but it's not synchronized with the start of the sequence. If I flip over to this other sound, which I've got going off triggering a, a sample, every time I press start, we get the, the start, as you'd want. However, with the clocking just like this, if I press start, every time I press start, because this doesn't reset, it's just starting from a di different place in its sequence. So what we'd like is for the moist to start in sync. So if I take the clock out of the FH2, put it into the output of this Disting Mark IV running the clocker algorithm, connect the clock into the Disting Mark IV, what this is going to do is basically keep track of where we are and when we stop and restart, send some extra clocks to loop it right around so it always starts in sync. So we'll just advance this to step one manually and then we'll Hold down Z to reset that to step one manually, and then we'll press start. So this is in sync. What we would like is to have that high note on the one. Beep, like that. So if I stop it and start it again, you, wherever we stop it, it's going to very rapidly advance it to, to the one. Um, so you get the idea. That's basically what it does. The only setting is the parameter which sets the number of steps, which needs to match the number of steps on the sequencer, which in this case is eight. Um, and once you've done that, and once you manually sync them at once, then it should always stay there. Every time you stop and start, it's locked in. So that's it, the counter algorithm on the Disting Mark IV.